Welcome to High Time. Make yourself at home. We got everything you need. Everything All right. You Hello. How are we doing today? My name is Brian Mayer. I represent Soto Saki. Uh, we are a premium Jumai Dai Ginjo, super premium product uh, at the 50% polish ratio. Before I get into the Soto. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you get into the Soto, you got to tell me what those words mean. Jumai Jinto. Jumai Dai Ginjo. Okay. And so what that means, and as you see our beautiful bottle here, everything on this bottle is, is not only in Japanese, but also in English. So our consumer can kind of get a little information out of that. And so what that means is that it's a super premium product mm -hmm. where it's only made from rice. In certain sakis, they actually add alcohol to it. Mm -hmm. In this case, they are not. This is all natural product, no sulfates, no sugars no additives um, so kind of a pure product uh, and that's kind of a little of the jargon breakdown okay so is that the traditional way of making sake just rice that is correct okay that is that is um, kind of the old-school way of doing it okay I like that yeah um, from there I will just kind of give you a base since we're talking about sake before we get into the product I can give you a little sake 101 okay um, if we were to take for say this bottle right here and this we're gonna imagine it as a grain of rice it's a brown uh, rice that came right out of the field. To get it to white rice, what they would do is they'd polish the surface of that rice about 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, you have now white rice, 10% has been taken away. Um, I'll give you a little side note. The reason protein uh, in brown rice is good for us to eat is, you know, these are things that kind of sustain us. But for the sake of making alcohol, you don't need protein, but you actually need sugar or starch. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be found more in the center part of the kernel. Uh, and so that is where this is made. Um, different than alcohol um, distillation, this is actually a brewed process. Um, so much like how beer is made. Um, so Saki 101, we got to 10% away polished already. Okay. Uh, we have white rice there. Now the beginning stages of Saki usually are in the 70 to 30% range, which means there's 70% of the kernel left and 30% has been polished away. Okay. These are going to be kind of like your table Sakis, this is kind of like your first step in, something you'd have hot Saki at a hibachi place or something like that. The next category, and you're getting into a little bit finer of a category, is going to be the 60% kernel and 40% polished away. Okay. And if you're seeing a trend now, the more the polish, the kind of the sweeter the product, the higher grade the product is. Right. In this case, this is a 50% polish. Mm. So half of it is actually taken away. And if you give me one second, I'll actually show you a little of the rice so you can have an idea of how this looks prior and post uh, processing. Okay. Um, but like I said, that gives you a little idea of how sake is. Now more specific to our brand, Soto, it comes from the Niigata Prefecture, which is about a two hour train ride, bullet train ride from Tokyo. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. We'll get we'll get to the business in a second. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How we doing? Yeah. Very well. Any any y'all drink sake? Sake. Uh, yeah. I want to taste mohawk, it. Mohawk, man. Where it's at? Mohawk. Can I try it? Shh. I already know what I want. Mohawk. Oh, I could do that. I you got this chill. At least you know no, what I want. That I don't know. That's the man right there. I'm oh. The man right here. Oh, you the man? The man right here. Yeah. Are you giving samples of the sake? Um, no, we're just doing demonstrations as of now. I'm doing a little like uh, informational thing. I just dropped in and said hello and just giving a little information on yeah. sake. Oh, you guys I'm have not a fan with? of it. I had it before. Yeah. I've had it warm. I'm not a fan. But. Well, I would tell you, warm sake and cold sake are two different worlds. Warm sake is kind of like the table wine, if you will, of sake. Yeah. And then the, the chiller variations are mm -hmm. more of the high quality. As yeah. you see in front of you, that's that's high quality. Yeah, yeah. high <laughs> quality. H two O, but S A K E. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm getting Ciroc. It's right behind you. Grab it. You don't have a chill though. No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. We have Probably ice. Still ice though. Yeah. 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 You ain't drinking no dark Yeah. Huh? What you drinking? We all drinking Ciroc? Yeah. Oh, I, thought to... talking, I thought you were talking about tequila though. You gonna buy it? I'm be fighting. I'm not doing it. What's the one? Is it more bigger than this? Like from it's Georgia. Georgia. We, we, say, uh, we need a bigger one. The, 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 yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, velvet yeah. might be a little warm. I'm sorry, man. What do you say? It's hot. You see, I got in the thermal. I just got to work, though. It's probably like 40 degrees. It's 40. It's like 4.50. Now it's 80. Oh, y'all really just came from Yeah, We just landed. We haven't even made it to our That's what like, look, bro. That's why I still look like I was cold. I get it now. That boy, all right. Y'all just got here. We came from. We come to this shit. Well, we open 2 a.m. every day. So anytime y'all need something. So you get lit. It's late. 
Cool. It's late, late. Two o'clock. Okay. Okay. But so most of the bars um, stay way over here late. Five. So some clubs, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Girl clubs and stuff, stay open all night. They serve liquor too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And if they you really want liquor to the casino, that's crazy. You can go to the casino. Hard Rock, a little or even out in Pompano, there's another one out here. A little here. Pizza. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. crazy. Actually, all night, they have a tiki bar. That's the smoke. Okay. The sun's coming up. That's crazy. I don't advise that, but, you know. I see why so many people want to live here. Yeah, man. No, that's this is the smallest one we have right now, man. Okay, that's cool. And this, and then uh, um, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna buy some scissors, but I think one of y'all can do that. Fifty six sixty nine. Well, you guys enjoy your trip like that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, y'all came at a good time because it's just warm. Back up. Jeez. Those are mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I thought they might have been hers. I just got them for my birthday two days ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, right. my my girlfriend will be hot because you just got those. We're here doing a little videography. I'm giving a little spiel about the, the sake. So you like um, work for a sake? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know if there's that many people are too, uh, you know, eager about sake. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Yeah, you can tell just by the way they're dressed that they weren't from around here. Right. We get a lot of out-of-towners in here. All right. So. I'm trying to think of where I was at. We're going into the 50% and you're about to show me the rice. Okay, yeah. So here's the rice. Here's the rice, all right. All right, so this is... This is brown rice, sake rice that comes right out of the field. Okay. And uh, you can see how large the kernel is and the color of it. And like I pre-described, the reason why uh, the interior part of the sake rice is integral a part of the process is because of the starch and sugar levels there in the, uh, the center part of the kernel, which are um, perfect for making alcohol. And this is the ref- this is the, this the is 50%? The, this is the post-polish 50%, and you can see how much smaller the kernels are. Right. But this is also why uh, this is opportune for the, the sake making. Okay. So it gives you a little visual reference of, of how it's okay. made a little bit. So this product, as you see, what kind of stands out about it is the look of the bottle. We have this beautiful Japanese denim on top here, Mm -hmm. and the bottle itself has actually got quite a bit of an awards uh, for design. We have a little texture here, and you can see the label itself, very recognizable. Um, Again, the- uh, The denim on top with the nice cover, with the texture. I like the see-through. I like- So uh, uh, something I was about to say is most sake bottles you see, they're either brown or green. We have this beautiful white bottle in clear. Um, we use a UV coating on the bottle, so mm-hmm. it actually protects the material inside of it while giving this awesome look to the outside. Um, so like I said, has some really nice um, uh, aesthetics, but it goes a little further. This Japanese denim also is a way in the kind of Eastern way of thinking, uh, what they call wabi-sabi, which is kind of a yin and yang or a balance type of thing. And so as we have right here, this is a hard surface. This bottle is a hard surface. What I would do if I was to present this is I would take the top off and then I'd place this cloth below the bottle, mm. buffering it from the hard surface, so giving it a little balance. So a little east meets a little west. Um, the east being the kind of ideology there and the west being this kind of uh, more approachable product. I like that. I like that. Um, it's a our, whole experience. Right. And our, our goal not only is to raise awareness about our sake, but sake in general. You'll find that this is going to become a more healthy option for a lot of people. Um, it's gluten free. It's sulfate free. It's additive free. It's sugar free. Um, whoa, it's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Run that back by <laughs> them again. So it's gluten-free gluten-free and sugar-free and sugar-free in one bottle in one bottle additive free sulfate free uh, a lot of people now are realizing that sulfates are becoming uh, you know something that makes them feel uncomfortable if they drink uh, I know tons of people that like, get kind of red-faced after they drink wine and things like that this is not gonna be the case here you know these are part of the reasons why you feel kind of you know not so fresh the next day this is something you can drink and kind of feel carefree, it's guilt-free, and it's not gonna hang on with you the next day. Mm. Um, This is a little bit higher in alcohol than a typical glass of wine would be. Um, Most wines are around 12, 13%. We're in about 15 and a half percent range here. 
and the ABVs. Um, let's think. Anything else that I, I missed on uh, kind of running it down? Do you have any questions? No. Well, I just want to make sure for anybody uh, in our audience that this sake is basically to be presented to be served chilled. Absolutely. This is a higher end sake, not necessarily one that is to be warmed, but if it's your preference, you can do that as well. You could. But this is more of a higher end sake that is made for to be chilled, more in, like a intention is in to a, be chilled. In a wine celebratory type of sip manner. I would say and so you kind of just you kind of touched on something that I found it. And so in in Japan, the, most of sakis they have different sakis for different uh, events. This is definitely something that's more celebratory, uh, something you would enjoy with friends or family, uh, you know, in a kind of a carefree environment. They have other sakis that they have uh, for uh, after funerals and uh, different uh, occasions. And just like the warm sake has a place, this also has a place, but a little bit higher up there. Okay. Yeah. I like it, man. I like um, it too. Shoot, right. I think you covered everything. I, I like the uh, the information we got today, man. Yeah. And what was your name again? My name is Brian Mayer, and this is Soto Saki.